Alistair Thompson from the campaign group Be Reasonable, who are campaigning against the ban, joins me now. Thank you so much for joining us. What What do you make of it? What do you make of the law as it currently stands? So the current law, which was clarified only a few years ago by the last Labour government, uh, provides a fairly tight framework, which is widely understood by parents, which means they can discipline their children. Um, and it's not just about smacking. We need to be very clear about that. It's about any unauthorised contact. So strapping a toddler into a car seat, uh, all of these are covered by the current legislation um, and are protected um, by reasonable chastisement is, is the term. Um, well, it does say uh, in that reasonable punishment... Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Re yeah, hello. OK, so it does say if you, in England, you don't have the legal right to smack your child unless it's reasonable punishment. Now, if violence, if the violence you use is severe enough to leave a mark, for example, a scratch or a bruise, you can be prosecuted for assault. And the, the point I was making earlier on is that if you are of a black or brown hue, you could be severely smacked and no one would know about it because it doesn't necessarily show up on your skin. So it's not an equitable law, is it? Um, well, it is because there's been a, a number of cases um, which have been looked at by the police, by social services and indeed by the courts. And interestingly, there have only been in a 10 year period that we were able to obtain the figures from the director of public prosecutions office. There was only three cases when reasonable chastisement was used as defence. Um, and all of them were in England, none of them were in Wales. Uh, and uh, so it, it shows that parents actually know the law as to the prosecutors. Why are you against a total ban like they have in uh, Wales or in Scotland? Well, because we believe that parents should be allowed to discipline their, their children in the context of the current law and what we have to understand are you is, saying that ch that parents can't discipline they can't be responsible for their children get their children to behave without discipline without smacking uh, well let, let me give you an example that was made by a former children's minister uh, leighton andrews who when the welsh government previously rejected the ban gave uh, a very clear demonstration which he said if you had a screaming toddler in a, in a shop and you pick the toddler up and you place the toddler in a trolley and there was an element of discipline about that, you would have technically committed assault under the legislation with reasonable chastisement removed. So it covers an awful lot more than smacking. It is any unauthorised contact on a child. So strapping a child into a car seat or pulling a child back because they're running into the road would all constitute assault. And despite huge numbers of claims from the First Minister in Wales, from the First Minister in Scotland, actually what we've seen um, about not wanting to criminalise parents is very quickly they produce leaflets uh, for teachers, for social workers saying, if you see someone that you think might have smacked a child or you see someone smacking a child, uh, call the police and social services. How do you discipline your own children? Um, so there's a whole range of ways that you can discipline children, um, starting off by speaking to them, um, you know, to withdrawal of uh, treats, you know, no screen time, etc. I'm sure that's a very common one for most parents. But it should be up, for, up to parents that if they need to give a light smack on the bottom, which is allowed under the current law, that they're allowed to do that. And I don't think they should be criminalised, uh, arrested, charged. And of course, it has a knock on impact, especially if those people are working in the NHS or schools uh, that could actually cost them their job as well. But the difficulty is that what you may consider to be reasonable, i.e., you know, a smack or whatever it might be for others, they will take it much further. And there needs to be some sort of uh, line in the sand that that needs to be drawn so that parents don't go over it. And that's the problem that it's. it's... But, yeah, go on. But, but parents already understand that. And there are uh, parents who go way beyond um, the legislation are guilty of abuse. And there are people who are charged and prosecuted with, in this country for abuse every day of the week. Um, so we're not talking about abuse. We're talking about a gentle smack on the bottom. And the reality is, as I said, when we did a freedom of information request of the 
uh, DPP's office and asked for the figures, there were only three cases in a 10-year period of where someone tried to use reasonable chastisement as a defence. So the reality is prosecutors, the police and social services and parents know what the the law is, um, despite some rogue polls, uh, and are able to, to stick to it.